Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy 88% here, back for another Unite guide here on the channel. This time we're actually going to take a quick break from the novice Pokemon and just show you Phalanx because um, he just came out, he's about to be uh, free to buy, so I think this is a good time to actually make a guide for it so people can know how to use it and uh, just understand the mechanics on phalanx uh, either way i'm sure you've seen a lot of stuff about phalanx lately and how its mechanics work but uh yeah i'll just try to deep a bit uh dive a deep uh, dive a bit deeper into uh what phalanx is all about uh, so yeah let's meet uh, in the practice area now so phalanx here is an all-rounder as you might know uh, <laughs> It's an expert leveled Pokemon as well, and uh, its ability is called Battle Armor, and what it does is the critical hit modifier of enemies is reduced by 50% uh, when dealing damage to Phalanx. Phalanx can hold up to 10 more energy than other Pokemon, so basically, as you can see now, I have uh, 8 out of 40, which means... Um, well, you probably can't see now because the, the thing is on the screen, but uh, he's 8 out of 40, normally it's uh, 30, the maximum at this level. And at max level, uh, it is 60. Failing can hold up to 60 energy, which can actually make pretty uh, a pretty good impact on the game. I don't know if they'll patch any of this on Phalanx, um, but we, we shall see. Phalanx is a group compromise of the Brass and 5 Troopers, each member of the group as a separate hitbox and counts as a different target. The Brass always takes 10% re reduced damage and Troopers will take 90% less damage while attached to the Brass. For attacks or moves that can hit mul multiple targets, the total damage Phalanx can take from a single move or attack is 110% of that move or attack's damage. Phalanx utilizes 3 formations which we will talk about now actually so uh, I'm gonna talk about move 2 first but before that uh, let me just show you what the auto attacks do so it becomes a boosted attack with every third attack or after the user the user uses tackle megahorn or iron head boosted attacks also apply a 50% slow for one second uh, and I didn't really want to actually get to level 4 thank you uh, can I please just... Oh, I made the same mistake. There we go. Um, when a boosted attack hits... Oh, sorry. A boosted attack also applies a 50% slow for one second to opposing, po opposing Pokemon they hit. When a boosted attack uh, hits, the cooldown of Tackle Megahorn or Iron Head is reduced by 2.5 seconds. Which is really important. Uh, you know how to combo that. So for example, right here... As I tackle um, this Bunnel Bee, I did go for another boosted, reduced it, and I have another tackle right up. So uh, it works the same thing as Mag with Megahorn and Iron Head, but I'll, I'll show you in a bit um, that a bit better. But for now, let's talk about move 2 first, uh, because I'd rather uh, explain the, the formations uh, before I actually tackle the moves, because the moves work differently. Um, depending on the formation. So let's start with bulk up here uh, that you get a level 1 or 3 of course. It has an 8 second cooldown and increases the defense, special defense and attack speed uh, by 25% and the attack by 30% for 3 seconds. So if I just go here to Indeedee, as you can see you go much much faster than normally and you did do more damage than I was doing now even um, because it does boost your attack, does boost your defense, so you take less damage. It's a good um, it's a good move to try to um, go into a secure uh, early game, just take reduced damage, do more, uh, maybe try to go for a tackle and just steal something. That's always always an app option here on Phalanx. <clears throat> then we have No Retreat, uh, which you get at level 6. And it has a 5 uh, second cooldown and uh, a, you switch to no retreat formation while shoving enemies in front of phalanx. While in no retreat formation the user cannot change the direction they're facing unless they use the other move. 
Phalanx movement speed uh, when moving backward is slowed by 10%, but attack is increased by 40% and the damage taken from the front is reduced by 20%. If this move is used while the user is in no retreat formation, the user will switch to column formation. Uh, while in no retreat formation, both the brass and troopers take 20% less damage from the front. The brass total damage reduction becomes 28%, the troopers total damage reduction becomes 92%. So basically, um, no retreat, uh, so this is the column form, of course, it's uh, when the brass is connected to all the troopers, as you can see, this is called a column formation, then you have the no retreat formation, which when you use it, you do change the, the direction they, they face, and it changed the mechanics of your move one, which I will teach in a bit, right now I just want to show you. Uh, what the um, how no retreat feels and if you use it again you do go for column uh, for the column formation so and as you can see if I go for no retreat there's a icon uh, which tells you the no retreat effect as well so as you can see I do walk uh, forward you do walk um, a bit faster than you do when you go backwards so that's uh, something to take account of. You can always change the direction of Megahorn or Iron Ironhead, but yeah, you need to be very careful with uh, the positioning of this move. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, the upgraded version of No Retreat you get at level 12. Oh, uh, No Retreat you get at level 6. The, the upgrades for move 2. So. Um, you get it at level 12, so this Pokemon gets its moves very early, you don't need too many, too much experience to actually thrive with it. But what he does, what the, the upgrade does, is you attack, uh, increases, um, the attack increases increase to 60% and the damage reduction from the front is increased to 30%. While in Nord Street Formation, both the Bass and Troopers take 30% less damage from the front, um, and the Brass total damage reduction becomes 37% while the trooper's total damage reduction becomes uh, 93%. So yeah, that's basically about it for no retreat. Let's talk now about beat up, which is the other move here on Phalanx. So let me just reset, get us to level six, and beat up as the user charge in a designated direction, dealing damage to enemies hit. The user then switches to dispatch formation, sending out two troopers towards the, the enemies towards enemies that were hit. The dispatch troopers uh, continue to will continue to attack enemies, but they will return to the brass after they either take a set amount of damage or become separate from the brass by more than a distance or after five seconds. Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> sorry, I think I got a bit confused there. Um, but it's uh, after they take a certain amount of damage or. Uh, after five seconds or a set distance. A maximum of two uses can be kept in reserve for this move, with a 0.5 second cooldown between each use. While in dispatch formation, the troopers sent out uh, no longer have damage resistance, but no longer share their damage with the brass. So basically you disconnect from uh, your troopers from the brass and you just do... Um, you just deal damage What's happening here? Uh, yeah, I saw <laughs> I saw Blastoise here. So as you will see, um, I disconnect them and now I don't take damage from it, but they take damage instead, um, separately, and I did die. <laughs> I saw I saw Blastoise was there and I was wondering what was happening, but he was just uniting. But yeah, the damage reduction does not happen anymore, um, and you do. Um, as you can see, you dispatch the, the, or your boys, and you can literally just um, you can see that they attack for you. So if you, even if you don't attack, they're just attacking for you. Uh, so yeah, it's good to to actually rip some um, uh, to rip some um, what you call it objectives, as I'll try to show you in a bit. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, both, um, oh, I guess I was gonna say something silly. Uh, the upgrade for this move, 
uh, makes you heal. Also restores HP when this move hits, which is kind of... Um, it's a bit impactful. So let's see, if I just go for beat up here and just focus on beating up, as you can see the brass is taking a bit of damage, but you get your beat up yet again. So you're taking less damage. Oh, you're taking less damage. You're, you can just uh, pull them back up. And as you can see, Rayquaza is almost gone. And that did heal me, so that kind of saved me there. And you can just uh, rip the objective, as you can see. And the healing is actually pretty impactful as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually gonna just try to get these 60 point runies. Just to see if I can actually win, just because I have 120 here. Um, but yeah, let's talk about move 1 now and how the mechanics of those moves change with the formation. So for move 1, as you know, you start off with tackle uh, at level 1 or 3, which has a 7.5 second cooldown. I don't think I mentioned, but beat up has a 5 second cooldown as well, just like no retreat. But tackle uh, charges in a designated direction. Um, dealing damage to enemies hit and shoving them. The user's next, next basic attack becomes a boosted attack, as I did explain before. So basically, you go for tackle, you have a boosted, so you reduce the cooldown by 2.5 seconds immediately, and after you go for another boosted, you have it right back, which is very, very nice. And you, as you can see, my uh, troopers actually did some damage to that as well, uh, which makes it um, also very funny that they do damage uh, like that when you charge. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about Megahorn next. Uh, and it has an 8 second cooldown. <clears throat> Sorry. It has an 8 second cooldown and it charges with its horns, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits and throwing them in the air for uh, uh, a quarter of a second, um, 0 0.25 seconds. Immediately afterward, the strike, the strike with its horns again and gain a shield for 2.5 seconds. Uh, so you do gain a shield with this, but uh, let's talk about how, what it happens when um, you're in no retreat and in dispatch. So in no retreat, failing becomes endurance resistance and charges power for one second, then strikes forward with its horns, dealing additional damage to opposing Pokemon it hits based on their max HP and gaining a shield for two and a half seconds. So it does do a lot of damage. This version, uh, this version of the move has a four second cooldown that is separate from the column version. Uh, in dispatch form, um, the brass will use the column uh, version of Megahorn. The troopers who are away from the column will use Megahorn too, each striking once in the direction of the target hit by the brass. So I'm going to show you how it actually interacts with both formations. So in this case, in no retreat, uh, you can go for Megahorn immediately, hit the um, the no retreat and as you can see you do charge for a bit and then it just strikes dealing a bunch a bunch of damage and as you can see I'm facing right right but if I do go for Megahorn it does change my my direction as you can see that's how you change directions in no retreat which is uh, always good because you can literally just go for Megahorn get your um, boosted because you get a boosted immediately and go for Megahorn again so that's like a, an infinite combo. I'm gonna go for the boosted again and just charge it up again. Boosted, and you just go for it again. It's uh, <laughs> this Pokemon is pretty broken thanks to uh, this combination. You do also gain a shield, which is a bit based of your attack and a bit based of your max HP. Um, and the uh, the upgrade uh, also give, uh, upgrades uh, the shield. The shield that you get. Um, making it uh, much more reliant on your max HP so that's pretty good as well I'm just gonna show you also the interaction it has with um, what you might call it it has with um, beat up so if I just go for beat up as you can see my troopers are out I go for beat up again and now if I just go for uh, mega horn they go for mega horn as well as you can see, they did take a lot of damage, so I couldn't actually show that. Let me see if I can actually show it now. If I just go, they did just Mega Horn uh, in the same direction. So if I go for this, for example, and just wait, 
you can see them also pinching for the Megahorn as well. So it's another uh, strategy to um, rip some objectives if you're running this set, of course. And of course, Blastoise comes here and just deals the craziest amounts of damage to me possible. So let's talk about Iron Head now. And I'm gonna try to teach some combos as well and some interactions that Phalanx has. So uh, I'm trying to take this a bit slowly just to show you the um, each interaction um, that is uh, meant to to uh, with its moves. Then I'm gonna uh, sh try to show you what you can do. Other than that, I need this Blastoise to actually kind of leave me alone, at least when I speak about the move. So Iron Head attacks the design as a 7.5 second cooldown. And attacks in the, de uh, the designated area with its steel hard head, dealing damage and applying a 50% slow for 1.5 seconds to opposing Pokemon and hits, as well granting itself a shield. While in no retreat formation, this move the move's range is shortened but the area of effect is widened. After using this move, for the next 4 attacks the user can attack while moving with the press and troops all, deal, um, all dealing damage separately in front of them. In dispatch form, when this move is used, the brass will use the column version uh, of the move while recalling dispatch troopers to the column. The returning troopers also uh, show the returning troopers shove and deal damage to opposing Pokémon they hit on their way back to the column and give additional shield to Phalanx. So now I'm gonna try to actually show this. Where is this boy? So we're here in no retreat form, as you can see. The, there's a, a big uh, area range, but the the, the area of, uh, the the range is shorter, but the the area of effect is much wider. Uh, unfortunately, he's not um, coming here. But as you can see, you can actually uh, attack while you move, which I'm pretty sure it's a bit faster than usual as well. Uh, but yeah, that's basically about it for the no retreat. I don't even know, is this glitched? Hold on. Because I'm not getting my boosted after that. I think it's a different attack um, than regular. But uh, just to show you the, the regular Iron Head, so I'm here in a column uh, formation. This is the, the normal range. And as we go, you just hit in a radius and you do get your, uh, whatchamacallit, you do get the, um, the boosted immediately so i was wondering why i didn't get with no retreat but i guess it's a, a different uh, mechanic uh, as i did explain um uh, further in the, the the move itself but uh going back to uh, iron head and now beat up now just to show you the that interaction as well so if i dispatch some here and dispatch some here and just go for it they just uh Go back with me so let me actually try to do this a bit differently so if i dispatch them here is if i try to hit the altaria as you can see they all come to me and uh, it actually affects the shield you gain a bit more shield per it i'm pretty sure um it doesn't i think it actually shows here how much hit you actually get how much shield you actually get from that uh, but it does give you a bit more of shield, I know that for sure. Uh, it's based off your max HP, so that's also pretty cool. Uh, most, uh, the, the majority of the shield. But yeah, it's a very it's a very solid move, I would say. Oh, I was actually gonna try to do that. And uh, at level 10, the upgrade for this move, Iron Head and the Troopers returning deal an additional 2 max HP, 2% max HP, um, to enemies they hit. So basically, if I just go for this and just uh, then go for the Iron Head, the enemies they hit get hit by the base of their max HP. So it's a bit more <laughs> impactful and pretty dope to rip it. As you can see, that was so, so easy to defeat Blastoise. It was just honestly one of the hardest Pokemon to actually defeat in the entire game. But uh, yeah, it makes it a bit, bit easier. I'm actually just gonna reset the, um, uh, the whatchamacallit, the, this match, 
just to show you, um, to take a bit more time to show you the Unite and some interactions that Phalanx has with some Pokemon and um, with uh, itself, basically. I'll see you in a bit. So for Phalanx's Unite move, uh, you unlock it at level 9. It's called the Dust Devil Formation, so it's technically the fourth formation you can have with uh, Phalanx here. <clears throat> And it has the five troopers running around con continuously, uh, the brass at great speed for five seconds, dealing damage and slowing enemies hit by 20% for one second. While this move is being used, damage taken by the troopers is reduced. While in this level formation, the troopers take 30% reduced damage, uh, making the troopers' total damage reduction 93%. Uh, it's actually a pretty impact, a pretty strong move, I would say. And just to show you, I was actually going to hit the substitute doll, but just to show you the, the whatchamacallit, the chasing potential that this move has, because you do get much faster, uh, the buffs also give you 30% move speed and a 30% max HP shield, so that's always very uh, impactful, especially if you stack um, HP, but as you can see, you don't actually do... Um, damage with uh, the brass you, ha you have to hit with the troopers so uh, you have to be careful with that it's basically a whirlpool uh, from Azu but a bit stronger and as a unite basically so there's that with um, failings here and the thing about failings before we actually head on to the items and builds is that failings um, it, do, it does get hit with uh, every single trooper, so uh, you have to be careful when you're dealing with some uh, specific Pokemon. So, for example, if I uh, if you just go for um, if you're fighting a, an extreme sea Lucario, for example, or you're fighting um, uh, what you call it. If you're fighting Extreme Speed Lucario, if you're fighting Giga Drain, Venusaur, everything that uh, gets something about. Um, some cooldown reduction or some uh, something about getting hit a lot, um, getting a lot of hits. So Extreme Sea Lucario gets reset every time you hit uh, someone with a marker, of course. And then the Unite and uh, Bone Rush reset that. So that's something to be uh, aware of. And uh, Giga Drain uh, heals per enemy hit as well. So that's all also. Um, a pretty good counter to failings because he gets basically full HP um, when de dealing with failings. There's all also some other Pokemon, uh, for example, Blaziken's uh, basic attack, uh, which uh, gives some healing, and you do connect with every single one of the brass. So yeah, there's that. There's also very good Pokemon that, uh, or very a lot of Pokemon that uh, failings counters pretty well as well. Uh, for example, Absol, because you take reduced um, crit damage, and also um, every every single Pokemon that depends on crits, basically, you deal pretty well with. So something like Charizard, even <clears throat> you can deal pretty decently with it. Um, <clears throat> Inteleon, maybe uh, I haven't actually tried or seen anything about that. Especially because it's a ranged Pokemon, so you have to uh, get in there. Of course, you can beat it 1v1, but um, if it starts hitting you uh, from a distance, I'm not sure how much you actually do to it or not. <coughs> so, yeah, there's that. There is always that. So, basically, you can brawl pretty well. This is a very good Pokemon for brawling. Uh, the shields that you get, the reduced damage, the the reduced crit damage as well, the strength of it all. Uh, Phalanx is a very strong Pokemon, so for brawling, I think this is one of um, the the strongest Pokemon as of now, and it's definitely one of the coolest. Honestly, this is one of my favorite releases uh, in a long while, and it has so much potential. As a, a lot of stuff you can do. Um, in a lot of different ways. Beat up uh, is more of a, a ripping um, machine. So for example, I'm also, 
Also, I was trying that with the Muscle Man and Rapid Fire Scarf, just to try to to see how well we could do. Uh, <clears throat> sorry for that, my throat. I just woke up, so my throat is kind of going crazy. So, uh, just to see how much damage you can actually do and how much, how fast you can rip this. As you can see, you can rip this pretty, pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> you do a lot of damage with it um, but yeah Phalanx just has a lot of potential the fact that he can hold 10 more AO's uh, energy as well is pretty funny um, but yeah honestly I feel like this is one of the, the best releases they had in a while and it's just a very funny Pokemon very fun very um, unique and that's uh, that's something that uh, they really should <coughs> Put some emphasis on um, when uh, actually creating these Pokemon for Pokemon Unite. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't have much to add uh, on Phalanx, at least in this part of uh, the guide. I think we should just go for uh, the items and emblems now. So for Phalanx here, I think it really depends on uh, the build you want to go with um, beforehand. Uh, I think you can always. Um, choose between Mega Horn and Iron Head depending on the situation but I don't think it really it really just suits your style uh, but it does depend on how you want to set up your formation so if you want to go no retreat or with beat up I think for beat up I've been having um, I've been trying out the muscle band rapid fire scarf uh, on it because I think um, the, the ripping potential is very good especially with all the troopers hitting uh, I think the, that um, that potential is very nice, honestly. Uh, having a bit uh, of success with it, um, especially with a Razor Claw, because every time you use Beat Up or Iron Head, you get a uh, every time you get uh, you use Iron Head, you get a boosted. So just going for Iron Head and then uh, popping a Razor Claw, even Mega Horn in the Beat Up formation, I think it's just um, it has a lot of potential to uh, do a bunch of damage, basically. Uh, but I do think uh, so. I'm gonna try this for beat up and iron head because I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do beat up and iron head and um, mega horn and retreat just to show you how it works uh, on these games. Uh, of course, I do think any combination is good, um, but uh, I will just show you um, the the move uh, the first set and the second set. Uh, and for the first set, I'm actually going to double stack here on Phalanx because with all the damage reduction you get, with all the the Mega Horn scales off very well of your attack as well. So I think this will be the set that I'll use, especially because you get a shield up based off your max HP. Um, especially with Mega Horn Plus, it's much greater. And with all the damage reduction and all of that, I think this just has a, an amazing potential. Um, but yeah, those are the sets that I'm going to use. Um, and yeah, let's hop to, to the emblem. Sorry, I kind of blanked there because I really don't uh, have much else to add with these uh, with these items. I also I have been trying a Drain Crown on this boy. Uh, I don't think it actually works with the troopers. But I'll have to research a bit more into that. Maybe when I do silly sets on this Pokemon, I can try to to have that on him. <clears throat> yeah, let's just uh, hop quickly to the emblems just to uh, talk to you a bit about it. So for failings here, I think you should just go with standard uh, all rounder, a standard all rounder uh, emblem set, emblem build I should say. Um, <clears throat> just six white, six brown and just try to maximize your attack or, or your HP. I think maximizing your HP in this one actually makes um, a, a lot more difference because you, you do take damage with each one of your troopers. So I think having a bit more endurance in that phase uh, should really help you out. Um, but yeah, that's basically about it for the emblems. I don't think you should run anything too different from this as long as you get six white, six brown and um, you can sh just go with wh wh whatever. I have a critical hit rate because the, this is the one I pre, uh, I always have for <laughs> my physical attackers, and it really doesn't uh, matter too much what you 
have on this boy uh, for those stats, but I think critical hit rate also uh, always helps, um, especially in the in the beat up Ironhead um, build that we're going to try, because I will be a bit more reliant on the basic uh, the boosteds and the basic attacks. Uh, so yeah, I think the critical hit rate can do a bit difference. Uh, Phalanx uh, does have a 20% critical hit rate at level 9, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this makes it a bit more easier to rip enemies, um, <clears throat> rip uh, some farm and some objectives. Uh, but yeah, I think you should maximize uh, HP and attack and you should be more than fine. So let's hop on to our first game now. So here we are with game one, uh, trying to show out the no retreat and mega horn um, combo. So hopefully that goes well. Uh, as you can see, you really should just uh, try to put some emphasis on your tackles. As you can see, my cooldown is basically back, and uh, I do I do be stacking. So I think I'm just gonna go for that first. Hopefully there's no no one here. I think I will just attack. Try to get this bundle B, of course, because getting it would be pretty dope. And we do just get uh, two stacks, so that's great. And now with Megahorn, this should go even finer. Oh, I didn't get that, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully I don't die here. I'm already in a sticky situation. I did try to pop my <laughs> X speed there, but that didn't work. That did not work. I don't think they're too interested in me. So I'll just get my points. And grab these boys as well. These citrus berries get the spall toy too. So I think I'm doing very unorthodox things here. Oh, and I got it. I got it. Oh, dang it. I really thought I, I would have gotten it. Unfort. Well, now I'm kind of stuck here, but I think we're fine because I can get this bundle B. They're all gone. They are all gone. Right, so I just need one more and we should be fine. Please give me this one. And we're stacked. We're fully stacked, which is a rarity. It is a rarity. Hmm, <clears throat> almost got my level 6, so I almost have the no retreat as well. I think we should be fine. I think I'm just gonna go to the middle. Uh, cuz. Oh, hello, buddy. What you up to? What are you up to? Okay, he's up to nothing. <laughs> he's up to nothing. As you can see, no retreat just is so good. I tried to use my basic attacks there, but I couldn't. I was thinking of going bottom, but uh, I saw that there were people, three people there, so I decided against it at the last second. Hello, buddy. Oh, can I not attack? Can I not attack? <clears throat> Let's see if I can actually punish this boy from coming here, which I did. Oh wow, he's he's being very mean. Very mean to say the least. Please leave me alone, Bundle B. Uh, damn, I took a lot of damage there. A lot, a lot of damage. I can't really pursue this uh, Sylveon anyways. Oh, it's actually right here. Right, right there. Alright. Um, I think we're doing pretty well, I would say. Let's see how much damage I can actually... Oh, I took it out. <laughs> took it out and faced the wrong direction. So that's a bit unfortunate. But we're doing well. We're doing well. There we go. Let me scare my, score my 40, please and thank you. There we go. Got my dust level formation as well. So things will be just as fine right now. And Megahorn also goes through through walls, which is pretty dope. And <laughs> I did actually steal that. Unfortunate for this Talon Flame. Hopefully I don't die here. Yeah, and it just went away. 
He just went away. Oh, are these bots? I just realized that. Are these bots? Because there's... <laughs> Zatu are here. Zatu's here, I should say. Well, that's unfortunate. But I think it ca I can uh, still show how <laughs> how strong these moves are. Even in this precarious situation. As we do get this boy. And now, hopefully, I don't die here. I think I'm just gonna go for, for my Unite. I'm not gonna let this boy get away from me. Oh, and I missed. No. No. I missed that as well. Missed my boosted. Oof, almost got the, the Gabite there, unfort. Can I cannot go for that? Oh, I'm actually dying. Hello. <laughs> I'm dead. <clears throat> I'm dead. I got greedy. I got very much greedy. That's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Um, I'm just gonna go top now to get this Reggie. I have my uh, Mega Horn Plus as well, so I get a bit more of a shield, which is based off my max HP, so this should be fine. And by now, I mean I already had it uh, for quite a long time, I should say. I feel like. Ooh, that almost knocked out the. Oh! Reggie Lecky did! Reggie Lecky knocked that out. Oh my god, they're going insaneo on me. Ooh, I actually did knock them out. Crazy. But I'm dead. I should have gone for Megahorn. That would give me. given me a shield. It's early, my brain is not really functioning too well, so I'm sorry for that. Very, very sorry for that. I'll be doing my best to keep um, being cohesive. <laughs> to keep being cohesive, and uh, yeah, let's see. Um, our boy is actually coming back, this Reggie. I have minor retreat plus as well, so more attack, less damage taken. I'll take it. I'll take that. Let me see if I can actually not die here. That would be lovely. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I knocked them out. Perfect. Let me see if I can actually. Oh, he actually knocked them out. Crazy. That's kind of crazy. And he got away. He got away with that. Did it? <laughs> did he? Seems like he didn't. Unfort. Unfortunate for him. Very unfortunate for him. The shield that you get from this is actually pretty huge. Pretty, pretty huge. And the fact that you can get a uh, 60. <laughs> 60 point of runies. On this boy right here sounds pretty dope honestly really does sound pretty dope hope Lucario doesn't die here seems like he's okay uh, I think I'm just gonna oh there's a a, 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 bo a boost for me a buff <laughs> trying to fi figure out the words sometimes speaking is very hard. I don't have my Unite, I just realized that. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. That's a bit unfortunate. I actually want to knock them out. Please and thank you. Please and thank you, I completely missed that. Unfort, I do have my Unite now, so that's a goner. Let's see if I can actually secure this. Oh no, he got me with an ice fang. No. Let me leave. <laughs> no, this is so sad. He got me with an ice fang. Mm, can I actually survive this? Megahorn gave me a shield. He has no shield left. So I think this should be more than fine. Should be. Doesn't mean it is. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Please. Please. I'm fighting for my life here. <laughs> I really am. Please don't let the be the Mr. Mime getting me. That would be humiliating to see, say the least. Please, my shields. Oh my god. Can I get this? Whew, we got it. We got it. That's crazy. Oh my god. That was so intense. <laughs> that was so intense for no reason. Damn. Well, I can't actually score, so... And I will try. I will try. I'm here. Let me get my uh, 120, please. Let me get my 120. So, unfortunately, that was a bot match, but I think <laughs> that last fight was worth it. <laughs> it really shows how bulky this Pokemon can be, especially with the shields and the... Um... um Wow, the damage reduction, 124 still, so that was kind of kind of impressive. Let's see if the the, the beat-up Ironhide one isn't, uh, at least isn't against bots. I feel like sometimes when I was trying to use my boosted after the Mega Horns, they weren't really going. So I think that's uh, that could be my fault, though. Uh, but yeah, let's meet uh, for our next battle. So here we are with a beat-up Ironhead game, hopefully. We are running the, the Razor Claw, Muscle Band, and Rapid Fire Scarf. Unfortunately, I am paired with a, a person that does not really want to <laughs> help with this. We need to do this together, otherwise it's counterproductive. Uh, but yeah, I don't really need to stack. I think I'll just try to punish this Magikarp, forever getting closer to me. <laughs> Fortunately, I really couldn't. Did he actually get that? Or was my... I think it was my, my boy. I don't want to die to this... Uh, to this Magikarp. Mm, and here's the Mimikyu. <laughs> here's the Mimikyu getting me. Okay. That was unfortunate. Didn't actually mean for Mimikyu to... Um, actually, Magikarp got an assist, so that's the, the most worrying part, I would say. It really is, really, really is. But we'll see. Hopefully our boy does not um, die there, thankfully. Got a shield there, but unfortunately I think I will die. Didn't get my shield back. And Mimikyu is just that silly. It's just a very silly Pokemon to fight. <laughs> really, really is. Okay, so I'm gonna get this boy a really quick like. Just so I can get level 5. Uh, maybe stand a bit more of a chance. I get my critical hit rate as well. Um, I don't think this boy can actually beat me. Well, with that waterfall he can. Dodo actually got that. Good job, buddy. Very much good job. Okay, so he's going there. He's tri attack, so that's good as well. Miascarad already got that, unfortunately. Okay, so he went there. This is fine. He is level 8. That's not fine. I know. I know he, what he's going to do. I don't like what he's going to do. Eh, but I really can't do anything about it. <laughs> Really cannot. Which is unfortunate, and of course I don't have an assist there. That would be too good. Really would be too good. Now I have beat up, I think I should be uh, a bit more good to go. We shall see. If we can actually do this a bit better. Because uh, it's been a bit of a struggle up until now. So let's see. Okay, that was the the clone, was it? Oh, I tried to iron head, but I couldn't. Damn. 
Everybody jumped in at the same time. Dang it. Very much dang it. Right, let's see if we can actually deal. Hopefully we can get the, the bottom Reggie at least. Alright, I got the, the Mimikyu at least. And there we go. We're actually kind of coming back there. That's a very good thing to see. I'm holding on to 50 points. Let's please try to get this score. And Leafyon, you really shouldn't score here, but I guess I have no other option than to just let you. We got it. No. I don't want to get hit by that. Okay, he got it. He died. Oh, flower trick. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Really was not. I actually unite myself because I don't want to actually die here. Uh, I think I should be good in this situation, maybe. Please let me get my shield. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That was actually kind of scary. I'm sorry, Dragonite. Uh, you should be fine, though. <laughs> you should be fine, though. Should be is the key word there. Hopefully, I don't... Um... Hopefully, you didn't die. That's what, uh, <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. Uh, Leafeon is probably going to die here, though. I really don't... don't think I can... save it. Um, maybe? Oh, come on, I actually hit this. Come on! Okay, he let himself die. <laughs> he let himself die there. I'll take it. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate that. Now I have beat up plus now, which will a hundred percent um Do I catch this boy? I think I have to. I have no other option. Okay. Let's see if I can actually I can probably beat him. Oh, really? I popped my Unite there, but didn't actually go off. Unfort. Unfort. I think if I went for beat up, I could have uh, gotten him. That was unfortunate. Very unfortunate that he actually got me there. I was so sure that I would have gotten him. I was really sure, huh? Really, really sure. Uh, but he still hasn't got the Reggie. Really seems like he still hasn't got the Reggie, so I will just try to... Oh. That was a bit of a waste. And by a bit, I mean quite a bit. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Hopefully my beat-up can heal me pretty... <laughs> pretty well, please! Oh, I tried to get a shield there with Iron Head, but I couldn't. Very unfort. Very, very unfortunate. We'll see. I don't know what's happening up there. Hopefully, Dodrio is fine here. He shouldn't really go too far away, buddy. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be silly like that. Try to get an Iron Head there. Really couldn't. Sometimes it's really hard <laughs> to control the, these iron heads, it seems. Why did you unite immediately? That sounds like a bit of a waste. Can you at least knock him out? I don't think that's the case. At least doesn't seem like that's what young boy is trying to do. But I guess we, we shall find out pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon. Oh, we got it. 
We got it immediately, dang. I was just trying to get my Unite. <laughs> just really trying to get my Unite. That's a goner, and we can score 120. Let's go. Look at them, all of them happy. Did you see that? That was so funny. <laughs> that was so, so funny. I saw Blastoise there, but I can literally outscore him pretty easily. Because I can score 120. Come here, buddy. You're not getting away. Actually, you might. I knew he was doing that at that exact second. Oh, oh, please. Help. <laughs> Help. Dang it, I almost got my iron head back at the, the right time. I would have gotten I would have gotten that boy. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Unfortunately I couldn't. But I think it's a win. I think it's a hundred percent a win. So I'm not too worried about that. Um But we'll see. We shall see, we shall see. We shall see. Also, want to see how much damage I did because I know I did knock out too many uh, Pokemon, but I think I did quite a bit of damage. Uh, oh, I was the MVP because I scored uh, <laughs> 240 points. Damn. And we did 73k. I think that's fine. I think that's m more than fine. Um, the, the beat up uh, combination with Iron Head shields is just so good. The fact that Beat Up Plus also heals you is also pretty amazing. It just really needs to be uh, used at the right time, I would say. And I think, honestly, I think I did, but I got unlucky because my um, my Iron Heads were always a bit short on the um, on the cooldown, and I would have loved loved to got that shield there, you know. Uh, but oh well. I think Megahorn could also really um, uh, play out here pretty well as a uh, a ripping strategy, and it does also give you a shield, so I think that's uh, also a pretty good solution, I would say. But yeah, let's gather our final thoughts on this Pokemon right here. So Failing Seer is one of the most exciting um, releases in a while, I would say. And it really shows by its combination of moves, the th what he can do, everything like that. He's just very, very powerful. Uh, its Unite move is insane, very fun to use. Its combina move combinations, it's just so versatile, you can do so much stuff with it. I think it really, um, really adds to the game, you know? Uh, very fun. Uh, very fun Pokemon, very funny to <laughs> see uh, used as well, and the fact that it's actually good, it might get nerfed um, this week, we'll see, because sometimes they do that, they release a Pokemon that's a bit too nice, and then once it gets the, the free, uh, once you can pay him for coins or get the free pass, or whatever it is, for example, I, uh, like what happened with Maridon and a lot of other Pokemon, uh, they just nerf it a bit, uh, because more people will have it. But yeah, honestly, I think this is still a pretty good Pokemon, no matter what. I don't think they will nerf it too, too much, because I don't think it feels too overpowered. Um, maybe the Megahorn build, um, just a bit. <laughs> just a bit, uh, but I don't know. I don't know what they'll actually do with this. I just hope he still stays a good Pokemon. But yeah, if you enjoyed this guide and enjoy Pokemon in general, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe because there's... Oh, that's not what I meant. Because <laughs> there's a lot uh, more content coming. Uh, Pokemon related, uh, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, competitive, everything like that. Even Poke Rogue, I'll try to do a bit more. Um, I've been trying to stream it, 
but the streams have been kind of meh. So I think I, uh, I'll I'll be planning to do something spicier <laughs> uh, on the next Poké Rogue stream. Anyways, thank you so so much for watching though. This has been 88%, and I'm out.